My name is Alfredo Garcia and I'm professor of highway engineering at the Technical University of Valencia, Spain. I am going to present a new traffic calming device named Speed Kidney. It allows drivers to adapt a curve path and so their speed are moderated as well as avoiding vertical discomfort. Moreover, the speed kidney is designed to minimize the usual disadvantage associated to vertical calming measure and to maintain uniform speed along urban street. Consequently, urban traffic becomes smoother, safer, more comfortable and sustainable. This is the content of this presentation, starting with an introduction on traffic calming. Later, and the new concept is described and the usual geometry is presented. After the invention, a deep and rigorous technological development was carried out. Then some details related to the construction are shown. Taking into account the results from the technical development and the first implementation, some performance results are highlighted. Finally, I will summarize some conclusions. It is known that traffic calming measures decrease vehicles' speed and sometimes moderate traffic volume, improving road safety. Nevertheless, the majority of common traffic calming devices have negative effects on users. Drivers and passengers suffer discomfort, vehicles are damaged, neighbors can perceive more noise, Another disadvantage is that they affect all vehicles, emergency vehicles and public transport include. Response time of fire trucks and ambulances is increased as commercial speed of buses is decreased. Finally, traffic calming implementation may produce an irregular speed profile which results on higher fuel consumption and emission due to deceleration and acceleration cycles. Designing a traffic calming system always requires a decision-making process to balance all impacts. The speed kidney has a main speed hum at the center of every lane and a complementary speed hum disposed on the same cross-section but at the center line. The main hump is curved and the height is low the central hump avoids that drivers evade the main hump. Actually, this new invention is a combination between a speed cushion and a chicane. Drivers can choose to modify their path, adapting it to the curvature of the main speed hump. So, both vertical discomfort and mechanical damage are avoided. Consequently, the optimal path of a passenger car would be curved as a chicane or a slight zigzag. Besides, the main speed hand is narrow enough that wider vehicles, such as emergency vehicles, trucks or buses, could follow a straight path straddling the main speed hand as with the speed cushion, but passenger car would pass over with at least one of the two wheels of them. The speed kidney facilitates many advantages avoiding the majority of current problems. Passenger car speed is moderated instead of locally reduced. Curved path allows cars to circulate smoothly without hard brake application, making speeds more uniform along the segment. Driver's and passenger discomfort is rejected. Drivers that circulate an adequate speed can pass without any wheel over the main speed hump. Mechanical damage on car is reduced. Vehicles do not have to overpass the speed kidney. Delays on emergency vehicles, trucks and buses is minimized. 
wider vehicles can circulate with a straight path without overpassing the speed kill limit. Road safety is increased due to passenger car speed are moderated, noise is reduced compared to speed hand, speed bumps and speed tables, tracks do not have to change gear to pass over a speed kill limit. Fuel consumption and emission is optimized compared to speed humps, speed bumps, and speed tables, due to the acceleration and acceleration cycles are minimized. In this figure, you can observe the geometric parameters where the main ones are the radius of the kidney that determine the speed and the width and occupation that facilitate passenger cars with a smooth curve trajectory can straddle the hump and passenger cars going straight ahead must pass on the hump. Besides, the occupation is narrow enough that wider vehicles such as emergency vehicles, trucks or buses could follow a straight path straddling the main speed hump. The basic values of for the parameters are shown. A radius of 15 meters is the most effective. A height of 7.5 cm lets the straddling. An occupation of 1.7 meter is enough to encourage the curved trajectories. The technological development was carried out during one year in three stages. A preliminary test with only the contour marks on the pavement then one real implementation in a campus street with actual drivers and finally more than 4,000 control tests in a specific test track with 18 different geometries and using passenger cars, trucks and motorbikes. Along these pictures you can follow the construction process starting with the layout, then milling the current surface, and paving, compacting, and finally painting. A new sign was designed and adopted, as you can observe at the right. More than half the drivers were found to adopt a curve path, and especially tracks also developed curve paths even if they could go on with a straight path straddling the main speed hump. On the other hand, average speed on speed kidneys was less than 40 km per hour, while operating speed was less than 45 km per hour. Speed reduction on the speed kidneys was lower than 5 km per hour, so the speed kidney moderated the speeds rather than locally reduced them. Speed uniformity was associated to positive energy and environmental impacts. The results indicated that the speed kidney fuel consumption was 12% lower than in the speed table. Besides, noise variation was lower on the speed kidneys than on the speed tables for both passenger cars and trucks. As the experimental results showed, the main objectives of the speed kidneys were fulfilled and the design hypothesis were verified. Consequently, the most adequate design of the speed kidneys could be determined taking into account its uh, functionality, user safety and sustainability. Therefore, the speed kidney is totally developed and it can be implemented in every urban street requiring traffic calming. This invention was patented by Universitat Politécnica de Valencia, Spain. The Spanish General Traffic Authority, the Generalitat Valenciana and the company Pavasal collaborated in the development. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you are interested or have any doubts.